Tom, talk us through the game. Um, I thought the first half was even, if not a great spectacle, and then we concede two two poor goals, and immediately it's a uh, it's a uh, I don't know mission, borderline mission impossible. But uh, the only positive we can take out of the game is that we we threw everything forward and we created a lot of chances. Um, and as the manager said, you can't afford to have 14 shots a goal and only have one on target. Um, we need to we need to create more. And we need to score more. And whilst I thought I thought the defensive performance was a lot better, even though we conceded two, it was two poor goals. We need to be more ruthless and we need to create more. And is that just a case of finding our finding our shooting bits again? Yeah, I think. We've, whilst I say we need to create more, we've had probably four very good chances, and with the quality we've got, we should be taking them. And the only positive from that is the fact that we know we've got good players who can take those chances. In most situations, it hasn't quite fallen for us today, but next week, let's just hope it does. Because even though we've been on a poor run, we're still good players. We we all believe that. We all believe in each other. And that's what we took out of a very long meeting there with the manager and the rest of the players and the boys who were in the stand and the coaching staff is that you don't become bad players overnight. Confidence is lower than it should be. But the only way we can get out of this is by pulling together and finding something from within that's going to propel us not just to a victory but a good run of results because we know as a club and as a team we're nowhere near the standards that or we're not in the position that we should be in. Is there still a belief there from what you're saying, Tom, that the players feel they, they can still turn this around? Almost definitely. We we look at teams and we look at this league and we feel we are, we've got the squad to beat anyone in the league. And I know we're not doing it at the moment, I know it's not going right, but we've got to pull together and start producing performances which, do you know what, they may not, may not be pretty for a couple of weeks. We may have to be horrible and play the way Livingston does. And get the confidence back and get the attacking players beating beating the man and, and sticking it in the back of the net and the defensive boys clearing the lines and the midfield boys maybe just having to turn it around the corner and get the ball at the back. Um, we're still trying to play the right way and against teams like Livingston it isn't always easy and we needed to recognise that today and I think it was a little bit too late before we recognised, recognised we need to be a little bit more direct and get the ball down the sides for the, for the strikers. To what extent can you... Can you not legislate for a mistake? Because it seemed to be that was the kind of moment that, that turned the game and sort of our heads dropped a little bit after that. From our point of view, it's two poor goals. Um, everyone makes mistakes, so there was no fingers being pointed at individuals there. Um, and that's the, that's the other positive. Uh, I've been in situations where things have gone tough at clubs and it's been a, a, a blame culture. He did this, so-and-so did that. But that never that never happened today, and it's not happened since the bad run has started. Um, and that's the only positive you can take moving forward from those situations is that we're all together, and mistakes are going to happen. But it's how we react. Um, we've unfortunately the, the mistakes seem to be coming all at once at the moment. Um, and when it's a mistake, and it leads to a goal, it gets remembered. But quite a lot of the time, mistakes at the other end that don't get finished don't get uh, remembered as much. Um, but that's where, again, I go back to this team and the group of players that we've got. The forwards have come out in the in the in the long meeting we've had there and said they need to step up. The defence and the back four uh, and the midfield four have been taking a lot of flack for not protecting our goalie uh, for the last couple of weeks. Um, and we're all men. We all take the responsibility on our on our shoulders and. We're just looking to put it right. Just finally, Tom, you mentioned it at the meeting a couple of times, but we need to ask, it was something like 45, 50 minutes you guys were, were locked in by our account. We know you can't go into exact specifics, but can we ask what the kind of general message was at the moment? Well, I think the idea of us being locked in is is, is a wrong one, to be honest. We, It was instigated by the players. The players want to get this right. The management desperately want to get it right. We're all trying to pull in the same direction and... There was a lot, a lot of opinions viewed, and a lot of them were different, and that's a good thing because different opinions can find help find 
the solution. And whilst we've not found it, we thought we thought we cracked it when we beat Sligo. We thought, right, this is us onto a onto a good run. We've all seen that there's a lot more that needs to be done than than what we thought. And if that means being horrible and playing in an ugly fashion for a week or two just to get the confidence back, then that's what we might have to do. Tom, as always, thanks for your time. Cheers. Thanks.